Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, thank you for coming here for to NIST. Mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to ask, what do you think about the this generation of students? Yeah, mindset. It's, it's 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 wonderful. Like as we are discussing about, like you know, the currently India has a great advantage. The dividend of that India has the highest number of the young people in the world. So uh, you know, now it depends upon that you know how this young people can be oriented. And this is a good example now that what we are seeing here in the NIST that is, you know, the, the fest. So they are being oriented towards a positive way to think about that what they can develop and how they can contribute to the society, to the sustainable development. So this is a good example that, you know, they, these generations, if can be oriented for a purpose, can do wonder not only for India, uh, but for the world. Thank you. Uh, all the students that were here, what do you think? They they come under uh, the Gen Z, like in the social media era. What do you think? They are uh, more innovative than other people, like millennials. Uh, you know, like if you see uh, the main difference between us, like the earlier and the Gen Z, you are flooded with uh, information because the the social media gives a lot of informations. Uh, good or bad. Now, uh, what is uh, important for the Gen Z and which I, you know, I being a father also, I suggested to my children to develop a mental uh, filter. Because as you go and as information is easily available to you, which was not with us, uh, some bad thing was not accessible to us. But now with the click, everything is available. So it is the responsibility of you to develop a mental, uh, you know, filter and to decide about you, which is good and which is bad. And once you develop it, because the stage of the life you are, so my suggestions will be as, if you can develop that filter that, you know, this is good and this is bad, you are done. Because, you know, it is in the life, it is not that everything good only will come in front of you, bad things will also come with me. But you must know that this is bad and I shouldn't be a part of it. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. That's really a great thought. And thank you for sharing it with us. Uh, what was your experience in NIST University? Uh, this is the first time I'm uh, coming here. Uh, the first of all, like you know, the NIST being a, you know the private university, this is a very good example that how higher the reach of the higher educations can be taken to a not that much of reachable, physically reachable place of the country. Because as you see, like you know, coming to this place, I have to come. I'm coming from Delhi. I came from Delhi to Bhubaneswar, and from there, three, three and a half hours. But when you come here, and when you interact with the students like you, as I interacted with the, uh, you know, uh, uh, the faculties, I interacted with the vice chancellor, interacted with your uh, president. You you feel like you know the similar level of the vibe which we see in any type of an any any uh, you know uh, multi, uh, metropolis. Uh, any any private in, in universities in metropolis and that shows that you know NIST uh, university and like this type of an university are really doing a great work of uh, you know the bridging the knowledge in the that much of unreachable uh, you know part of the country because the role of um, you know the knowledge and especially the science and technology is also to bridge the uh, not only the knowledge bridge the cultural bridge also physical uh, distance bridge I, I believe like in that way i'm very impressed with you know in ist being in such a uh, you know uh, not reachable part of that country easily though it is in a highway which connects you know even calcutta to madras in that way but so doing a great job by uh, bringing the reach of uh, you know the educations and the knowledge to not that reachable part. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for connecting with us and uh, coming to NIST and for your wonderful words about NIST. So clearly, NIST is now in your heart. Clearly, we can see that. So, what do you think? Um, competitions like this will enhance and uh, um, make people and the students to more attract towards science. Yeah, uh, especially, you know, coming from the Department of Science and Technology, this is, you know, always our, uh, you know, my whole career and after my career also, the thing is that, you know, people should be uh, attracted to the science and technology because which is, unfortunately, if you look it into it, like the current situation, that not much, uh, you know, the children from the, the metropolis are coming to the science and technology. Rather, in India, 
the hinterlands are mainly supporting as uh, supplying the, the science and technology students into that so in that context you know like you know, when we see uh, this type of an vibe here and these students who have come here and who are displaying they are not nist students nist is organizing with the students have come from different parts of the uh, country and they may not uh, class 9 to 12 students uh, i think from different 10 states they have come and they are a mixture of uh, you know the urban school and the rural school and when they come here they see that in you know, another the place where uh, they can come for future not only that but also they can see that you know if they want to pursue their dream uh, i don't want to say that you know only for the science or engineering because that that world is also changing because now you see that the science uh, engineering and arts everything is getting you know the intermingled and that's their future so this uh, they see that you know other than that the best top notch you know the indian uh, universities this type of universities are also and uh, you know the opportunity especially the private university which will be the, the future uh, of the indians uh, you know the education landscape so i believe like you know this type of an uh, organizing you know this type of an uh, competitions in a place like nist give it's a win win for both the, the ch children also come to know about nist and they also get uh, definitely it will attract them to come into this knowledge domain uh, whether it is science technology and arts as i say the future will be more intermingled thank you so much sir thank you for your lovely words and we loved you for being here thank you we will expect you to be here more often and all the best for you uh, thank you so much thank you